Okay, so I was trying to test the game, and I, because if you remember last time, I got kicked off because I told her I would wait for her, and then I opened the game to try and make sure all my recording settings were correct, and I prompted dialogue, and I panicked and exited out of it, and then it brought me to the loading screen, so I don't know what's gonna happen, so fingers crossed. Damn it. The woods. I ruined and it. At the end of that path is a cabin. And you're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Forgive me, please. I panicked. I, I didn't know. Wait, I wonder if I can. Hold on. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, damn it. Because she was like, I, weeks mean nothing. And I was like, no. And I I clicked the X. I didn't save her anything. I was like, oh, maybe it'll, maybe it'll, um prompt something so of course I haven't why would I even consider that <laughs> nobody wants the world to end I mean maybe some people do like nihilists or very very evil people but surely you're not one of those right I don't remember like what we have and haven't done you make your way up the short path to yeah, the yeah, warning yeah, yeah, she yeah, will yeah. Yeah, we're yeah, not gonna yeah. go through with this right yeah, ignore yeah, yeah. him What, like, haven't I done yet? The interior of the cat the blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. So this is releasing on Mother's Day and the whole joke was that all the titles that I've been doing for Slay the Princess have been like, Mother is Mothering. So that's the joke. Finn, are you coming to join the party? Whatever. I do plan on making a video with my actual mom at some point. Um, having her rate my video game crushes, but that, I don't know when that'll come out. It has to be dependent on her schedule and stuff, but Moms, am I right? Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. It feels like, like, bias Don't confirmation. let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. I don't give a- <laughs> Hi! Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Please, come downstairs. I just want to be your friend. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? That's what I feel like every day. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> uh, but then I actually look like this. Horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Me when I see a bitch in the club <laughs> and my besties, like, focus. Not funny. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Yes. Um, sure. You're only making this more difficult. I love her eyes. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, Queen. You're making a huge mistake. Shh, I'm talking to her. No, you're doing the right thing. Thank you. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. Why'd her face change? They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? No. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Um, I'm gonna go back okay. upstairs. Okay, <laughs> I'll be here. Good luck. This is so fun. I'm just gonna- this You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? Is someone else here? 
Oh. You try the door. But your shouts and pleas are met with silence. The way me, maybe I'm the You're hero. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. Well, it's not happening, so. Oh, I have a cramp in my you make foot. Make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. I just wish the guy would shut up. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Yeah. There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. You know? She barely hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. Okay. Uh, I did not expect that. <laughs> As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. I'm not doing or it. we could use it to free her. Yes. You won't like what happens if you do that. Save the princess or slay the princess? We're going to save. <sighs> Fine. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. No. You cut into her flesh. No. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. Well, I'm gagged. <laughs> she didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. No, she didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. <laughs> How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Okay. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I can't just let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. He can do that? Watch me. What? What are you doing? Killing myself. No, 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 no. Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? Y you know you don't have to do this, right? Your body <laughs> lurches forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. I'm sorry. Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. I'm trying to save the heart, girl. <laughs> Stop. The blade. Move. The blade. Literally me right now. <laughs> Don't clip that. <laughs> As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. I'm sorry. We both know this isn't you. We both know this isn't you. Oh. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. She plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't dead yet. Oh no! I'm so sorry! Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. For her sake? Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? Apparently not, though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. <laughs> I'm so sorry! With 
one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. It can't just end like this, right? Oh, that's rich coming from you. As much as I prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Everything goes dark, and you die. You're on a path in the woods. You're here to slay her. A terrible sense of deja vu. No, if he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, did he? If we're going to save our beloved, we'll have to be sneaky about it. Was that Matt Barry? What's his face? Laszlo from... What We Do in the Shadows? Our beloved. Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. They caught me. Ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love, and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. Four? We'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. It sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. And who wouldn't? What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. Say. We could go back and forth on this forever, and it won't get you any closer to doing your job and saving the world. So let's just agree to disagree. Okay. Ba ba ba. A warning. Before yeah, she will lie, yeah, yeah. she will cheat, Eat and she will do chip. everything in her power Be to bisexual stop you from lying. We already told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. My audio keeps disconnecting, that's so annoying. I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. Me too, and what of it? I do, but I also speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. Why am... I literally the protagonist in all of his voices. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Oh, so these two got beef. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. Fine. Okay, so should I do the same thing? The interior of the cabin Ooh. is clean and elegant. Its stone walls draped in fine-threaded tapestries, a prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. I would love to live here. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I'm not taking it. The door to the basement creaks open, oh. revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. I love it. I love it here. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? It's a little bit different this time. Her voice. It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I can hear wedding bells already. I'm too... I'm too smart. I just noticed, like, the little differences. And, like, the game, like, says it as if, like, I, I wouldn't pick up on it. It's crazy. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this over-the-top fawning. This music is so fun. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. 
There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. I will save you. My love, we're here to rescue <coughs> you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. I'm... Why am I literally this guy? This is so embarrassing. Oh my god. You know she can't hear you, right? <laughs> she may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Mm -hmm. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. Yeah, get this spirit all over her face. Now, why did I say that? It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Do you hear that? She said we're dashing. I'm so mad at myself. And she called us a hero. Yeah. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? And me. Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. Mm -hmm. That's right, villain. And you killed us. Well, she killed us. Yeah, but Only because fault. he made us try and kill her. Oh my god. <laughs> Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. Cruelty. And you've died before. Yeah. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but... What's done is done. What matters is you have a chance to do it right this time. No. We damned a whole world. But everything reset. Yeah. Nothing resets. You're just somewhere else. You can't keep hopping between worlds forever. Especially not without leaving a trail of incomprehensible devastation behind you. <sighs> this is horrible. Horrible for you, maybe. But we've been given another opportunity to sweep her off her feet and treat her like the lady she is. Her. Now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you this sure guy. we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? Anything for the pussy bitch. We never saw a world end. And now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. I'm with this guy. Are you listening to him? He's lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. Is this even a job? Am I getting paid? Oh. Why did you do that? Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. I'm going to ask some questions. You died. And now we're talking. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Didn't you want me to? Eh. Did we? I don't know. We warned her of the cruel forces seizing our body. That's practically telling her to kill us. She is our beloved, and she made the choice to free us of our misery, to show us mercy and make the best decision for everyone. Agree. She made the best decision for her. Don't be so quick to assign kindness. You're just opening yourself up to manipulation. I didn't bring a knife. I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off again. Ugh, love. We won't be laying a finger on her perfect wrists. And indeed, we won't even have to. Do you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her right out with no harm done. I feel like, didn't she do that before? What? No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. I feel like... Maybe I'm making that up. Why are you two arguing over the logistics of slipping her hand out of her shackles? She just said she'd be okay with any idea we came up with. Am I the only one here who thinks that's weird? She didn't care last time. Why should she care this time? That's our stoic, smiling angel. No, you're right. It's extremely bizarre behavior and further evidence that she's a monster who's not to be trusted. So go ahead and slay her. Uh, but before we started talking, did the world end? Did you, did you end the world? I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? Would that have made you happy? A uh, submissive queen? Isn't that just like our darling princess? She wants to make us happy. My heart melts further with every word that passes through her beautiful lips. Okay, Sim. <laughs> listening to her, that's a confession. Um... I, I, um, I have, I literally am indifferent. At least you're being honest. I can't believe that the fate of the entire world has been left in the hands of a nihilist. Dude, it's just like, I wouldn't know either way. The princess shifts in uncomfortable confusion. Oh, I'm sorry, was that the wrong answer? Me too. I don't care. 
great. She wasn't confused for long. <laughs> if she doesn't care, then clearly she didn't end the world. It would take a great desire for evil to do something so inconceivable, and our dearest has not an ounce of cruelty within her. All is well, and it's high time we rescued our beloved. All right. Okay. Yeah, I want to apologize. The other version of me was pushed to such drastic action. It was for good reason. Mm. That's okay. You were just doing your best, and that's all that matters. Thank you, princess. She took that in stride. To a surprising extent. An almost unsettling extent, actually. I love it. That's because she's perfect. Yeah. Do you think she has someone like him telling her what to do? I hope so. She doesn't. There's no one else like me. Mm. I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him, always trying to drive her to violence. Mm. Okay. No. I can't let oh you do God. that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... You're what? what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? I would if you had a weapon. Not on my watch, villain. My passions contain titanic depths, and if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. Wait, I did not consent to that. You wouldn't. I would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? <sighs> you approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand from her bindings. That shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. We're doomed. She looks so beautiful. I can't believe it. But I guess I have to. I told you, there's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. I'm free, and you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> the princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. <laughs> Ugh. If only you had a weapon, one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone out there would be saved. Uh. Luckily for Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love on our side? Yes, King. What do we do now? I don't know, actually. I don't know. What do you, what do you want to do? Let me guess. End the world? Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his heart. I don't actually know. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. This is so Manic Pixie Dream Girl vibe. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had her all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she doesn't want to end the world? You're so gullible. It's the only thing you've ever doubted, the actual truth. I don't know. I think I want to leave. And I think... The princess closes her eyes in deep reflection. And then she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? Um, I just want to leave. We can figure the rest out later. Or if you want to leave, then let's leave. That sounds perfect. The princess takes <laughs> your hand, the last hopes of the entire world slipping through your fingers as they intertwine with hers. We have each other. We don't need the world for our happy ending. Now, wait a second. I like to think that you do, actually. Look, I have my doubts, but the choice has been made and... This is happening. You don't have to mope about it. I love this. I will mope about it, because moping is the only recourse you love blind fools have left me with. You and the princess Aww. walk up the stairs hand in hand. Ugh, look at the way she's smiling at you. She doesn't have to be so happy about this. This is so fun. And what happens after we walk up the stairs? That interesting the door slams in your face and the lock clicks that's a familiar move did i do that last time then you should know that you won't be able to leave oh no did someone lock us in here that's not fair we're supposed to leave now she's right it isn't fair but the unfairnesses of the world are no match for the strength of true love Enough with this true love nonsense. You just met her. Of course you wouldn't understand. Our passions run deeper than anything you have ever known. Are you listening to this? You don't have to go along with the every whim of that delusional voice. I'm not, but I can't help it if he's right. I'm just along for the ride at this point. 
You think you can open it? I think we can open it if we try together. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Like a pair of teenagers in love, you and the princess place your hands on the door together. Mm. I love it. And the lock clicks <laughs> and the door creaks open. Are you kidding me? This is so fun. I told you our love was insurmountable. <laughs> You and the princess make your way upstairs and the blade. That's right. There's still a chance for you to do the right no. thing. Take the blade from the table and slay her before it's too late. You're not doing You're enjoying that. this, aren't you? I am. You're taking every opportunity you can to draw out the end of the world and make me suffer. I hate you. <laughs> That's the way out. We're going to leave together, just like you wanted. Yay! Yes, I suppose you are going to do that, aren't you? You cross the room, opening the door to the cabin. And then you step outside. I got an achievement! A happy ending at last! This is so pretty! Why is the music changing? We did it! What should we do now? Oh no! Where did everything go? Where did he go? Oh, is he gone? I hadn't noticed. I was too busy staring deep into our beloved's eyes. Why the music change? I'm cold. Is being happy supposed to be so cold? Huh? She's cold. Quick, our feathers. Pluck them all and weave her a coat worthy of a princess. Feathers? Oh, should I read this? She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? My dog just started chewing on a fucking peanut butter jar. Hold on. Is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? Uh, uh, it's it's going to be okay. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Yes, I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt, right? It's supposed to be my feathers. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. She'll be there waiting for us. I just know it. This is the first time we disagree. <laughs> you approach the mirror. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. You've withered. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. You are at the cabin. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna switch. I'm going over here now. <laughs> I think this should be fine. Okay. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. Look at her tiny little waist. Oh my god, snatched. You can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. I don't think that's true. How can you stand to be contradiction? Doesn't matter how many times they go back, at least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? Uh, sure. It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? Never. Um, uh, if anything, it makes me like you more. I wouldn't say that. Yes, you're torturing me? No. No, not really. It all seems so distant as soon as I'm near you. Sure, that one. It does seem small from here. And the more we journey, 
the smaller each of those steps will be, but that doesn't make any of them less special. Um, what do you think of this vessel? This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. Oh, I don't... that actually feels icky. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. Okay. Um, um, how many more vessels do I need to bring you? We will know when we near our destination. Not enough! Okay. I'm ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Okay. Oh! Everything goes dark and you die. Got me once again. You're on a path. You're yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah,
The only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. What happened? What did I do? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. Why do I feel like this is like some ploy that actually is like, I'm the bad guy? Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> so glad you're keeping an open mind. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or I don't even months get a book. or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. I don't believe that. Psst. Hey, we're not just going to stay here forever, right? Shh. Hell no. Of course we are. Like, here. hell no. Do you have any idea? I do, but you're probably not going to like it. <laughs> the blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. Why is it always suicide? I can hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on. And I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. He's right. It's the only way out. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. I don't like this ending. Do you not? There's more for us to do. And the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. Don't you dare. Uh, uh, let's wait. Let's wait it out for a little what bit. What a relief. I suppose we've got all the time in the world for you to change your mind. More happy time passes, though the word begins to lose its meaning. Time. That is, not happy. Happy still has plenty of meaning. I feel like I'm being brainwashed. Please, shake yourself out of it. We have to get out of here. The little voices, please, fall on deaf ears. Eventually, you pass into a blissful state of pure existence. Though words like eventually and pass ceased to have any meaning to you long before that shift, you simply exist. Happy. Forever. You have already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. Huh? <laughs> Good. Because I have an idea to get us out of here. Though you're probably not going to like it. This game is so good. Blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. I yeah. can hear everything okay. right. Do yeah. you hear that? Mm -hmm. it, do you not? There's more for us to do. And the... Don't you... I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <sighs> Thank you. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You... You ingrate. Oh. Fine. Whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. The princess's body is dust and bones, though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. Oh, wow. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. The end. Nice knowing you. It wasn't nice knowing you, bitch. Sorry about the abrupt ending. I forgot to film an outro for this specific part. I knew that there was going to be more than one part and I just simply only filmed one outro. So I apologize. This is what you're getting. I just wanted to say that we are going to have one, maybe two more episodes left of this playthrough and then we're going to be done with Slay the Princess. So ye freaking ha for $2.99 a month. You can become a Mia Likes member. You get a couple of special perks with that. You get an exclusive community tab. You also get priority reviews on your comments and then in addition to that you also get a shout out at the end of all my videos which leads me to this week's shout out Xylorp thank you so much for being here I appreciate you so much thank you for all your support thank you all for being here and I'll see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>